open things up for questions. Coach. Bad internet. Um, not going to lie to you, I was a little worried about our confidence and our swagger coming into this game. Uh, those last two losses stunned us, um, kind of gutted us. And um, the Michigan State came out hot, and we're down 12. And, uh, you know, we weren't guarding. We weren't really locked in in our defensive assignments. And, and then we did. We locked in. We started competing. We started battling. Last, you know, 31 minutes, we really defended, uh, played with great toughness. Our offense wasn't great, uh, but it was good enough. And we shared the ball. We moved the ball. Uh, we did, you know, we did some nice things. We were able to get to the foul line, which is big for us. Had some really opportunistic offensive rebounds. We rebounded better. Um, for the most part, we had about a three minute stretch in the second half. We decided we weren't going to rebound. Uh, but besides that, we, you know, we were better. So uh, a lot of positives, you know, just play with great toughness and just a really, really good win for us. You know, a shot in the arm, you know, gives, should give us confidence as we move into uh, tomorrow's game. Start off today with Daniel Oyafusi from the Baltimore Sun. Hey, Mark. Um, like, like you said, when you guys did go down 12, um, what were you saying um, to, your, to your players in the huddle? And what, what specifically has been working for Eric and Aaron and the rest of your, your players to get in, the, get in the lane and get to the foul line? Well, um, you know, I wasn't pleased. You know, the first meeting time I got on them pretty good. And then, um, you know, we just weren't competing the way we needed. We were missing assignments defensively. And one guy, the way we play defensively, if one guy screws up, we're all screwed. And um, so we fixed that. Our post defense got better. Our switching got better. Our transition got better. We quit turning the ball over, which helped our defense. Um, and so that helped. You know, Eric just, he missed a couple ones early. You thought he was going to make, and you're like, ah, oh, is this kid going to get going? He, he got going. We were able to space him. Um, you know, spread the floor a little bit. We're hard to guard uh, when we when we space it. We did a good job driving it and getting downhill. Uh, so we did a lot of good things there. And, you know, Wiggins, they were playing as a shooter. They were closing out hard, and they blocked a shot in the corner. We could have cut it to two. And I'm like, would you just start ripping and driving it, please? And that's what he did. He started ripping and driving, and he was able to get to the rim, got a dunk there in the first half. And and then that opened up the rest of the game. They were, they were really locked into him. But uh, – a lot of good things. Played inside out a little bit too, which we haven't been able to do much. But uh, it's good. We need got we need guys to play well. We need four four guys, four and a half guys offensively to play well for us to win. It's just the bottom line. And today we we had that. But I think offensively the two big plays was Daryl's three. Right, we were kind of struggling. Put us up eleven, then we got to steal and a layup for Daryl. Put us up thirteen. That that was a big part of the game. Go to Emily G. Mbavo from the Washington Post. Hey, Mark. Um, when you come out like that defensively, do you do you think you're going to turn it around, or is there a point where you're a little worried that it, it could all collapse in on you? You want to answer that for me? You've watched our team. Um, well, it's win or go home, so you, you were hoping they were going to turn around. Set a couple guys down. I, I want to brag about Reese Mona. Reese Mona, he really flipped it. He went in there and he, he just guarded and we were able, we weren't great offensively again, but during that stretch, but Reese just kept his toughness, his defense was just incredible during that stretch. And I think that rubbed off on a lot of guys, uh, you know, out there. So yeah, was I worried? Yeah. After coming off two losses, yeah, I was worried. Um, but the guys did it and uh, that's a really good sign for us because we always have, we haven't done that a lot this year when we're not playing great, just to really turn it on. We could do it last year's team, but this year's team hadn't been able to do it. So it's a real positive for us that we were able to do it today. Andy Costco, Washington Times. Hey Mark, uh, some of the offensive rebounds and putbacks, especially in the second half. I mean, how kind of critical were those? I think Hart with one, Eric had another, just to kind of keep yourself ahead of Michigan State didn't allow a comeback. Yeah, they were big. Um, <clears throat> And then I, I thought Galen, Galen had one and there was another one. And the, the best part about those fouls for us is they were on Hauser. And so Hauser picked up his third and fourth foul on offensive rebounds. One, we missed a shot and we missed both free throws. The other was a three point play. So yeah, Wiggs and uh, Akeem had two really big ones for us. And 
you know, we transition defense, something we really work on, but if they're around the rim, they're allowed to do that. And uh, yeah, they were big. You, it's hard for us. And so when we can get to points like that, that really helps things. And it was able to keep the lead, you know, 15, whatever, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you were able to just kind of control the tempo from there. Lila Bromberg, Testudo Times. Hey coach, just kind of how did you see the, the team's confidence and switch and just it kind of seemed like they're having more fun out there. Just how big of a difference did that make when you guys were really able to start uh, stopping Michigan State? Just how did you kind of see them flip that switch from, you know, a mentality perspective? Well, first of all, I don't brag about them enough, but my bench is the, the energy on my bench from the guys that don't play is is remarkable. And sometimes when guys don't play, they start to hang their head. But these guys care about each other and their energy was relentless throughout the game. But um, you know, our guys believe in each other. Our guys love each other. And um, it's just good to see, you know, after Sunday, that devastating loss, it was a hard break. You know, it, it was tough. And uh, for for our guys to have a great attitude and, you know, and, and fight and scratch and stick together and smile and laugh and have a good time is, is great. So, and, you know, it wasn't like we were jumping around in the locker room. You know, our guys were sitting there. They, they expected to win. It's a good thing. And we just talk about positive winning attitude, and, and we had that today. Go to David Suggs from the Diamondback. Hey, hey, David. I couldn't hear. Could you D hear? D I cannot. David, can't, can't hear you with the music right now. Let, let's go to Barry's for Luga from the Washington Post, please. Hey, Mark. Um, you've mentioned you mentioned on Sunday night how tough that loss was. You've mentioned a couple times here how difficult it was. Um, for you, over the past three days or four days, how do you handle that knowing you're coming off something that was devastating, but you have a still have a huge opportunity ahead? Yeah, let me let me add another word. It was dev devastating and disappointing because we had a chance to finish sixth in the league when we were picked 11th and 12th. Um, you know, I I felt before today that we were in NC, we were going to be in the NC tournament. I didn't feel pressure like we had to win the day, and the players didn't either. So we came, we had a meeting Monday night, a Zoom meeting, because we didn't get together to tell Daryl that he was defensive player of the year. And I said, guys, we're in, we're in the tournament and we just need to relax, have more fun and play. We were still a little bit wounded when we came to practice Tuesday, but as the practice went on, you could see the guys start to get their swagger back and play well. So um, just, I'm happy for them. It's unbelievable battle being in the big 10 guys. I, I, you know, and there's a reason we were in the tournament because the big 10 is so good and our schedule strength has been so great, but it's, it's exhausting and tiring. And um, so today today should give us confidence. Okay, last question. We'll go to Jacob Steinberg, WMUC. Hey coach, you mentioned earlier the importance of transition defense, only limiting them to two points off turnovers, but conversely, you guys scored 27 points yeah. off their 18 turnovers. So how important is that when you're playing with active hands and flying around defensively and then able to convert it into easy offense? Yeah, it was terrific. And um, you know, we, we probably could have scored in, in the 70s today for us, which is like 100. But I just really slowed the game down the last six or seven minutes, just trying to use clock um, and shorten the game. But uh, yeah, our hands were active. Our, you know, we talk about it all the time. Coach Haynes on my staff is constantly talking about playing with our hands. We got some great length with Wiggins and Keem Hart and Eric Isle and Daryl Marcel and Dante Scott. You know, we're not the tallest team, we're not the biggest team, but we got some length to us. And um, it was good. It was good to get some easy ones. It, it really was. And um, it helps us, gives us confidence too. All right, Coach, thank you. Appreciate your time. Uh, we will yeah. have right, Eric. Guys.